Good day, viewers. Welcome to our class for today. Civic for JSS2 is what we are taking. This is civic education. This topic is under national values. And then remember that civic education is aimed towards making us a better individual and recognizing our positions as citizens of a country. So what are we having for today? We are going to look at right attitudes to work, part two. In our previous uh, class, we look at right attitudes to work, part one. Then we look at some personality and characteristics that you need to possess as somebody who is responsible in your workplace. We look at honesty, transparency, good judgment, punctuality, and the rest of them. If you've not watched the video, please go and watch that video when we discuss about this personality. How have you worked with this personality in your everyday life? It's not just to learn. The practicality is what matters. So if you've not started applying those things in your everyday life, whether in your workplace, whether in school, whether at home, please go back and try to imbibe them. Make it part of your life. That's the essence of learning. If learning is not passing through you, that means you are not complete. Welcome to Class Online School. This is Class Online School where we run the Nigerian curriculum from JSS1 to SS3 for core subjects. So, we are taking civic for JSS2. Let's look at right attitude to work. We just have one objective for today's class. And the objective is identify rewards or importance for right attitudes to work. What is the reward for one who have these good attitudes to work know that in learning and in education we preach rewards we preach reinforcement and we preach praise so if one in the workplace is doing his due diligence to be good at what he is doing why do the person stand to benefit because when there is no incentive to what you are doing sometimes you want to follow the bad eggs but no here we talk about good personalities how do you continue to be a good person at work? And what do you stand to benefit if you do that? Well, I'm going to talk about six points. The first one is being progress and success. You agree with me that if you have good um, work attitude, there's going to be progress and success in the business. Because when you put in your best, when you are always in your duty post, if you are resilient, you are diligent, the, you have this kind of drive to bring the goals and objective of the business to life. You see that it's going to work perfectly well and the business is going to grow. Every business grow in an environment where all team members work together to reach out for the goals of the business. And among those things that helps to reach out for these goals is putting in the best being punctual, being regular, doing all your duties, doing all your routine activities, making sure you are transparent, making sure you are honest. All of these will bring about progress. So, number one is it brings about progress and success of the business. Number two, brings about growth. Growth comes as a result of businesses um, coming together to do their best to achieve the organizational goals and once the organizational goals are achieved it will lead to growth and once growth is achieved it can lead to expansion and once there is expansion more persons will come in so you see growth is very important in business and so if you have the right attitude to work and you put in your best by you and your team members it will lead to growth Growth in productivity, growth in pro the profitability, growth in expansion, growth in recognition, growth in competitiveness, all of these will make the organization to go higher. Everyone wants his business to go higher. Then the next one is enhance respect. If you are one who have good attitudes to work, your team members will respect you. Everyone in the organization will respect you because they will know that you are a product. You are the one who brings in innovation, initiation to the table. And you are one 
who work as a team to bring everything to life. So, as a team leader or as a good work person, you want to make sure that all of this is put in place. And when you work in harmony, remember we say harmony, harmoniously working with others, being transparent with others, being punctual in your workplace. You need to respect. You cannot put your best and people will not respect who you are. You cannot bring new ideas and people will not respect who you are. You cannot um, bring in, in new innovation and people will not respect who you are. You cannot help in achieving the, the team goals without people respecting you. So it leads to you being respected. Four, it leads to recognition. You see people getting award for being the best worker for the year, punctual, um, being a good team leader, being one who brings the initiation. You know, people are being the best at your workplace with whatever you have bring to the table. The organization recognize you. People recognize you home and abroad. People recognize you in the environment that you are putting in your best to bring about good achievement and good goals. So it leads to recognition. And once you are recognized, you are happy. No one wants failure. Everyone wants to be recognized. So once you are recognized, it boosts your self-esteem, it boosts your ego, and it motivates you. It serves, serves an, as an incentive to make you do more, putting the best. Then, productivity. Productivity. Being good at your workplace brings about productivity. If you are punctual in your place of work, it will lead to increased productivity. If you are transparent, it will lead to productivity. If you are honest, it will lead to productivity because you are not going to embezzle. You are not going to be fraudulent. Okay? It, it will add up to make the company make more profit. And then efficiency. You will be more efficient. You know, something you do now and again, something that is repetitive, the more you repeat it, if an action is repeated once, twice, here and again, gradually you become an expert in that area. So gradually you become an expert in what you do. And once you become an expert in what you do, people recognize you for your efficiency. So you see, this is the right attitude to work. We've identified rewards or importance for right attitudes to work. We've seen that it can bring about progress and success. We've seen that it can bring about growth. We've seen that it can bring about respect to you as a person. It can lead to recognition, gaining awards and getting motivated, gaining recognition. Five, productivity. It leads to productivity, it can lead to expansion, it can lead to increments, in order your salary your general well-being and other things that can come efficiency you have to do the thing more efficiently because you are always consistent you are always ready to work you are honest with what you do you're working with others as a team it brings about the best in the organizational achievement so that is it for today right attitudes to work part two right attitude to work will have many parts we're going to, we are still going to take part three of it in our subsequent class have you watched part one if you've not watched part one go and watch part one Follow along as we take the service. This is national building to build you, to build the nation, to make us better person, to make us have good image out there and as individuals. Are you subscribed? Subscribe, share the video. Let's make this community large. We will run the Nigerian curriculum here. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for being with us. We have all the justice one class packed together. If you want to get them all in one, you can reach out to us. Um, this is uh, civic education for JSS3. We've taken JSS1, we've taken JSS2. All of them are all complete. We follow the Nigerian curriculum sequentially. So, if you've not been following us, follow us. If there are topics you want to see, is in the channel. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next.